Hello, everyone. My name is Jamie Noguez. I am the section director for CSF testing at the National Prion Disease Pathology Surveillance Center at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. So this is the only center of its kind, and it offers diagnostic testing for prion disease to patients and their families. So the title of my research study is Improving the Sensitivity of CSF RT Quick in Humans by examining cases with indeterminate results. And in the next slide, I'm gonna tell you a bit about it. So one of the tests that we offer at the Prion Center is called real-time quaking-induced conversion, which we abbreviate as rt -quick. Now this is a very good test for detecting prion disease using cerebral spinal fluid samples from patients to look for the misfolded protein. It's a, a test that has about 90% sensitivity and about 95% specificity. So what that means is that it's very good at detecting prion diseases, but it's also good at differentiating it from other types of neurodegenerative conditions. But we know that there's still room for improvement. So about 10% of prion diseases are known to give false negative CSF RT quick results. And we know that about 1% of CSF samples that we see come through the prion center, they yield an indeterminate CSF RT quick result. The image on the right shows examples in columns A and B of characteristic curves for positive and negative results. Now these are very straightforward to interpret, but then we get samples that have results like shown in column C and D. So these are indeterminate results. And as you can see, these don't look quite positive. They don't look quite negative. And so that presents a challenge at times for us to interpret them. So our hypothesis is that by further examining indeterminate cases like these, we may be able to find ways to improve the sensitivity of our current CSF RT quick tests. And by doing that, we'd be able to improve the diagnosis of human prion disease, especially in these rare cases or in the subtypes that we know most often result in false negative CSF RT quick results. So how are we gonna go about doing this? So my study involves three aims and they're as follows. First, my goal is to determine the final diagnosis of patients with indeterminate CSF RT quick testing results. And I plan to do this by reviewing their autopsy records. My second aim is to determine if there are any characteristics that these patients that were diagnosed with prion disease and had indeterminate test results, are there any characteristics that they have in common, such as disease subtype, age, sex, et cetera. And then finally, I plan to see if there are any ways that we can modify or optimize the current CSF testing protocols in order to improve the CSF RT quick test performance in these cases that have indeterminate and false negative results. Um, and these are gonna be for patients with a final diagnosis of prion disease, but then have these um, indeterminate and, and negative results. And so we have an archive of these specimens at the prion center that I'll be using to help me do this. So with that, I'd like to very sincerely thank the donors listed on this slide for the grant that's funding my research. I truly appreciate the opportunity to conduct research that I know is gonna make a difference in the lives of patients and their families. So please accept my deepest gratitude. Thank you.